Here it is guys, episode one. We're starting the season off early ice. We've kind of gotten a late start for filming. Not really, but kind of. Pretty right on par for what we're normally doing. It's getting warm and cold, warm and cold, finding good ice. We didn't want to go up to the typical hot early ice lakes uh, north of Devil's Lake, Lake Irvine area, Red Lake. Lake of the Woods is now starting to get some good ice, but we're, we like to kind of start off on an unknown lake, a lake that maybe we fished in the past, hopefully we score on. We don't know, we haven't been out here yet this year, so we're gonna go out there and give her all we got, drill a bunch of holes, hopefully bring some crappies topside. That's kind of the goal, see if we can't get a few crappies, so let's get out there. That is the problem. Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. What happens when an addiction cannot be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet. The rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear and the rest of our fine sponsors. guys don't have any meat but I'm a plastics guy too but you gotta have the meat load the running fuck I don't know if I'm camera ready <laughs> Josh ah. Game plan is this is a pretty small lake, and in the past these crappies are roaming fast. So we're gonna put the live scopes to work. We're gonna kind of spread out just a little bit. Punched a lot of holes here. It's a super small lake, 40, 50, 60 acres, something like that. And these fish are just constantly moving. And there's some nice fish in here. So hopefully we can connect. Holy man, I can tell that was the first time this year drilling ice holes and drilling a bunch of them. But I'm excited. You're excited to get out for this first time, excited to get going. But once you get out here and start drilling holes, the adrenaline really starts pumping. So we're not gonna waste any time, we're gonna get on them. Hopefully get on them right away, but we'll see. That is how you start a day off right there. First fish of the you season. Eh? <laughs> Look we're at out that. here just drilling holes, searching around found a pot around here and like they said these fish are moving so we're going to be moving constantly we're going to have holes this whole place is going to be drilled though we're only like 40 something acres swiss cheese it nowhere <laughs> noticing pods of fish down here i'm pretty sure this is what we're dealing with this is my first through the ice fish of the 2020 21 ice fishing season i was hoping it was going to be a better start than that but we found our culprit this is why we set the snare out. That is Pikey. That ain't a crap. I'll kill you. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, you crack. Too much weight. Yeah. <laughs> Got a heavy over here. Ooh. A little oh. drag. That's what I got on, eh? Oh, there it is. I have, I have three or four of them. Three or four hundred of them? Yeah. That's what we're after. 
Looks like I gotta go tie something else on. Before the spot, before the hole, before the bait. It starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings, the best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands. When you get the strike, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. If you're looking for a lighter, faster, smoother auger, check out the pistol bit. Weighing only four pounds and optimized for efficiency, the pistol will maximize the life of your cordless drill battery, cut quickly, and easily re-drill old holes. Thanks to its stable centering point, check out the pistol and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. thing too when you're bringing these crappies up if you have a little slush in your hole take and just kind of shake them a little bit get that slush out <laughs> give them a little blow shut their mouth it seems like whew, take right off then a lot of times you'll if you just set them back in the hole with their mouth open and slush in there for some reason they just don't want to go so give that a try three two one three two one <laughs> There he is! Vlog oh, update! We're on him! Shoop! Ooh, come here! <laughs> Woo! Here it is guys, episode one, Fish Addictions TV, 2020, going into the 2020-2021 ice season. Here it is, but here's the deal. We will not be on Fox Sports North this year. We're going rogue. We're going on YouTube. We're going on Carbon TV. All these social media outlets, our Facebook channel, you can find us every single week. We're not gone. We're still here. We're just changing it up. That's what we like to do. Fish Addictions TV, it's going to be a heck of a year. We'll see you all year long. Boy! Just kidding.
Just kidding. This is not a walleye. This is actually a little crappie. This is a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys have ever done something like this where every crappie is decent. When you're chasing them around, you're running just as fast as they're swimming. And we're lucky that we got five, six of us out here with these live scopes able to keep on top of them. Because they ain't sticking around long, that's for sure. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. <laughs> you know, tracking. What do you have, Taylor? Oh, I believe another beautiful crappie. You move, 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 and you get on the school. These crappies are actually a little bit deeper, so it's nice to just not really horse them, give them a little bit of time, bring them up nice and slow, get that hook out right away, get them swimming back to the school. It's all about the journey. Look at this beast. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. <laughs> Dusty, put the camera down and grab a rod. Right under you. Back in the food. Put the crowd back in the barn. Dusty! Hey, guys. Unbelievable, is it? Another good one. <laughs> it's happening, Dusty. Ice season. It's happening. Fish, 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 fish. Devin, I'm gonna count, counting down for Jim to get one right behind me. School's going that way. Where are they at? They're going that way. Wrong angle. It's unbelievable. There's no way that you could do this no, you're gone. without this stuff. Unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna keep that for a fish fry. I think we should have a fish fry tonight to celebrate. Let's keep 10 fish, 10, 15 fish, have a fish fry back at the shop. Celebrate first, first ice crappie, first ice episode. And uh, probably to replenish from the marathon we're all doing right now. <laughs> Holy macaroni! Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? I don't know where they're at. They're under me. They're under Taylor. They're under the stinky guy. They're right under Chief. Thanks for the flyby. I did something wrong, bro. Did he rip while he walked by? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is just such a fast, oh, that's a nice crappie. What a fast moving school of fish. They've all kind of been carbon copy here. Now there's some smaller ones mixed in too, but we're waiting for that one giant, but that's, I mean, can't bat your eye at that. That is a nice crappie. I think this is an, uh, not a very big one, but snuck him out of the school. Hey, it looks like you could use an assist. I could use an assist. Thank you, T. Who feels all right? I'm starting to think I did something wrong. You're old and stinky, Jim. I'm old and stinky. Look at that toad. <laughs> I say we set up for these two holes. Yeah. I had to downsize from a spoon to a big tungsten in order to entice them. I was getting rejected like we were dating. Just like that. This is for the dinner right here. That's good. That's gonna eat good. I throw it on ice.
Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store with over 40 locations. Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. Hey guys, this week's Runnings product of the week is gonna be the Runnings exclusive Red Tipped Tickle Stick. You can only find this at runnings.com or any running store. Now we like to use this rod chasing panfish all over the upper Midwest, all over the ice belt. What are you waiting for? Get in there, get your Runnings exclusive Tickle Stick now. So far it's kind of been what we expected but we didn't really know what to expect honestly coming out here but if we had to expect something it was going to be a lot of searching and finding trying to find these fish there's tons of schools of small little perch out here so we're trying to sort through that and trying to just figure out where these crappies are are located it's a smaller lake so eventually we'll get on them but we just got to not be content in being in one area and, and find where they're at i think that we're kind of in the deeper spots right now and since it's early ice, they're, they might be a little shallower right off the original weed lines out here. So we're just gonna kind of keep jumping around. We got enough guys out here. We'll get on them eventually. Here it comes. Ready to lose my lure. Oh, swing and a miss. Do it again. You did it. Who's up for pickled fish? Hey. Laura, we know this species all too well while bass fishing. Yes. That is your bread and butter. Throw a crankbait, catch a pike. <laughs> what an absolute giant. It's a, uh, there is no better feeling than switching from the boat to the ice and that lull in between. Anthony's on over here. This is how you can really put the live scopes to the test. We're corralling these fish, basically. Without live scopes, it'd be impossible to follow these things around. I'm gonna get this guy back. Look at that tank. That is an absolute tank, guys. Early ice crappies. Fish Addictions is back on the ice. Woo! Oh yeah. All right, basically, I'm gonna take a breath because it has been a marathon all around here. We are catching a fish, moving holes, catching a fish, moving holes. If you didn't have the pan optics or the live scope to chase these guys around, in this scenario, in this size of lake, you realistically could sit in one spot because we've gone in circles and X's and these fish are kind of roaming this basin back and forth, back and forth. Now it might have something to do with us chasing them, obviously, this, this, we're fishing fairly deep, you know, over 20 feet. So I don't think that has a giant effect on them. I think they're just roaming constantly and constantly moving. There's a lot of pike in this system. So, so what I'm thinking is they're more or less getting herded by this, by these pike. They're kind of, you can see the pike come behind the school and swipe at them and the school kind of dissipates and then kind of reforms. So I think in, in a situation like that, uh, sitting still would probably be a better option than, than moving and just kind of basically guessing but that's what's so awesome about the live scope is there's no guessing it takes the guesswork out of it you still got to catch the fish but it's just 
phenomenal technology. I just cannot wait to uh, see what's next after Live Scope. Is there anything next? Can they come up with something better? I'm not sure. Until all of a sudden somebody's gonna catch a big one. Feels maybe a little better. Sound better? So we've see. had, uh, for a while there, no, it's not that great. We were really killing them on white and a little bit brighter colors. The last few have been just, we've been getting some re rejections on the brighter colors. I switched over to something a little more natural or darker. Seems to be working. That's it guys, that's a wrap. Episode one of Fish Addictions TV. 2020, 2021, and things happen so fast today that I just want to take a couple seconds to explain what happened. So the fish in, out in this lake are were roaming, and they're constantly moving, constantly moving. So in our heads, we've got to do a couple things. We've got to have heavier jigs on and lighter rods because we got to get down fast, get in front of them, get down fast, pick one or two out onto the next hole. And they're moving so fast that sometimes you'll see them and you won't get down in front of them. So what we were using was little spoons and a mud bug, bug jig. And the reason for that, like I said, was to get in front of them fast. And I like to use a light rod in this situation, a light extra fast, because I can see the bite. I can see the bite. I can see the up bite. I can feel the bite. So in this situation, that was a perfect rod for me. Everybody has their favorite rod, but for me, that's what it used. That's what I like. And it is a little bit clearer water, so we we're using two pound test today, two pound fluorocarbon. So guys, that's episode one. It's gonna be a crazy season. I cannot wait to get on the road. Wow. When a season starts like this, who knows how the rest of the season's gonna go. We'll see you guys down the road. This is Fish Addictions TV. We're out.